Hello, my name is Mackenzie Mills. I'm a product manager here at Blue Marble Geographics, and today we'll be taking a look at how to calculate chainage in Global Mapper. So to start off, I have a workspace open here that has the state of Maine, um, one railway track within Maine, and then some bridges associated with that railway. So if I zoom in, this rail goes just into the southern part of Maine, connecting the city of Boston up to Brunswick, Maine. And in this workspace as well, I have bridges uh, that this rail goes over. And so what I want to do is calculate how far along this rail path each bridge falls. And to do that, I can use the chainage tool. So I'll start by taking a look at the feature information or the attributes associated with uh, these bridge features to start with. As you can see, we have a lot of information, but something we don't have is the distance along the rail where this bridge is encountered. So this line is going from south to north, so that's the direction in which we'll calculate this chainage. And to begin this calculation, I'm going to start by selecting both the line feature and the all the bridge features. And I can do that from the control center, selecting the line feature, and then all of these bridge points. Now with all of these features selected, I'll come up to the digitizer menu. And under advanced feature creation options, we see an option that is available to us to calculate chainage or to connect selected points to selected lines with new lines. So this is going to create some new line features in Global Mapper. I'm prompted with one option in this tool to set an offset from my starting point. I don't want to set an offset. I want to start calculating distance right at the beginning of my line. So I'll leave this value as zero. Click OK, and we can see we've got a new feature in the control center in my Global Mapper workspace. I can deselect my features and then zoom in to where we have some of these bridges along this rail. And we can see that there's a little bit of offset in this data between the actual rail path and the bridges. These data points are from different sources. They have been connected with a line that reports the chainage values. And these values are also stored in the attributes for each bridge feature. So the distance from the rail line, the side of the rail line, and the name of the line that this point has been connected to, and then the chainage or distance from the start of the line until this bridge point is encountered. So this is just one of the many, many digitizer tools available in Global Mapper. Um, and as you can tell that you know, depending on what the features that you have selected in a workspace, the options available to you for some of this feature creation and attribute calculation, um, they're going to change in Global Mapper from that digitizer menu. So you have quite a few options to choose from, and this is just one of those lesser known options. If you're interested in trying out Global Mapper or finding out more about our products, um, you can find more information at bluemarblegeo.com.